Welcome back to my 52 frames journey. It is week seven and my most exciting one thus far. The theme, unexplored. I have to say the word Sajra quite a few times and with my list, it's one of the most difficult words to pronounce. But since that's where I'm heading, I didn't really have a choice. This week's planning, I'm going to start with a quick geography lesson. It's a common misconception that Dubai is a country. Well, actually, Dubai is only one emirate in the United Arab Emirates. The UAE, like I said, United Arab Emirates, consists of seven emirates, where Dubai is only one of them, and not even the biggest. That would be Abu Dhabi, which is the capital. Sharjah is the emirate right next to Dubai and has quite a bad rep, most probably due to its bad traffic, and it does have really bad traffic. I'm not sure if the roads weren't planned properly, but the traffic in and out and even inside of Sharjah is an absolute nightmare. The other reason it might have a bad rep is that it's quite conservative and a lot cheaper to stay in. Thus, a lot of the lower class, workers class, I would say, are staying in Sharjah instead of Dubai, which is a bit more expensive. This week, I want to try and clean up Sharjah's reputation just a little bit because they really do have some amazing building and hidden gems to visit and shouldn't be missed if you ever visit the UAE. The only problem is you have to work and plan around the inevitable traffic you will be facing in and out of Sharjah. During the week of the challenge, it was the 13th Sarja Light Festival. We had 11 locations to choose from. Some of them were a bit further away and undoable for our tight schedule. Others just seemed too popular and the crowds would be insane. The one that really pulled me was the Sarja Mosque, but since I've been there already, that wouldn't really be unexplored, which left us with the Bia Headquarters. Initially we felt a bit out of place, since the majority who visited the festival were all what seemed to be locals. But they welcomed us with open arms. this point of my shoot, a beautiful Arab lady approached me and instead of chasing me away, which I'm used to back in Dubai, she suggested a much better vantage point and what a vantage point it was. relying heavily on my camera's image stabilization. I've taken a one second photo in the past handheld, once again on a Dubai location, thus I knew the limitations of my camera. I still didn't want to use the tripod, 
Although, at the vantage point suggested by the lady, I'm sure nobody would have minded. I started off this week's photo with a Dean Noise. I like doing that before any of my other edits to get the best possible result. The Dean Noise from Lightroom is actually quite spectacular and I can highly recommend it. The second part of my edit was purely based on colour. I usually like taking my nightscapes, especially buildings and lights, during blue hour. But since the light show started much later, I didn't really have that luxury, so I tried to get the colour as close as possible as it would have been during blue hour. I just love the vantage point the lady pointed out. Since I could capture the light show, but also the atmosphere and the people enjoying the Winter and the Light Festival. This week I tried my hand at a Dutch tilt, which is a fancy term for a crooked horizon. But the curvature of this building just asked for it, and this would also be unexplored territory for me. Especially if you ask my closest friends and family, who knows my pet peeve about a crooked horizon. I would have loved the mask to be lit up, but they're still busy building on it. So maybe one day I can come back and take the photo where that mask is lit up and just adds a focal point to the photo. I love exploring, but I don't do it often enough in my own backyard. This week's challenge forced me to get out of my comfort zone and explore somewhere new. That's probably one of the reasons I'm such a fan of the 52 frames challenge. It just forces you off your daily hamster wheel, because it's so easy to fall into the trap of staying at home, lie on the couch, watch some TV or drink a glass of wine. That also have its time and place, but once in a while it's nice to get out and see something new. So this week was really fun and I can't wait for a challenge like this again. Next week, I take a look at the color wheel, since the theme is complementary colors. Thank you for watching and see you then. Bye bye.